From the IHLS studios in Tel Aviv, this is Homeland Security Weekly Report. Hello and welcome to the Israel Homeland Security Weekly Report. I'm David Jones. Lawmakers and infectious disease experts are examining whether terrorists could use Ebola to deliberately infect and wreak psychological havoc on an unsuspecting population. Various scenarios involve terrorists leaving dirty bombs of infected fluids throughout a densely populated city or lone wolves on a suicide mission, infecting themselves to purposely spread disease to others. Two Israeli companies are in charge of the Safe City project. Ramat Sharon, a northern suburb of Tel Aviv, Israel, has nearly 50,000 residents. Nanded, India, has half a million. What could they possibly have in common? Well, both are safe cities, having installed Israeli-made systems and devices designed to maintain public safety and security during routine times and emergency situations. Nandad, which is 10 times bigger than Ramat Sharon, also has mass tourism. The safe city solution there has been awarded to NICE Systems. The US is secretly developing a new generation of bunker busters. The prevailing assessment is that these bombs may be required in the framework of existing conflict as well as future ones. In recent years, the US has been increasing its arsenal of bunker-busting bombs. Each of these bombs weighs two and a half tons, including high explosives weighing 400 kilograms. The additional weight primarily comprises rugged steel coating designed to enable the bomb to penetrate deep into the target before it explodes. Hovermast is a new means for providing stabilized, real-time aerial surveillance to forces maneuvering along the battlefield. It is currently being tested and assessed by the IDF. Made by an Israeli company, Sky Sapiens, Hovermast operates high above the forces on the ground, secured by cable which serves as a power supplier and data link. Hovermast carries a camera and sensors which provide its operators a clear and stable image and alert to the surrounding threats. Unmanned aerial systems deployed on combat missions, complete with aerial imaging or bombing using a combat payload, are usually operated from afar by pilots who control the flight's altitude and direction as well as the system's weaponry. The exact monitoring of the UAV out on an operational mission by the control antenna is done thanks to a device called pedestal. This rapidly moves the attached antenna at very high precision. Euclid, an Israeli company which has been manufacturing antenna pedestals since 2007, has developed pedestals that can also carry cameras and other devices which require ongoing precision calibration and movement, so they are produced in a variety of weights and configuration. Thank you for watching our weekly report. See you at the same time, same place next week, and for further information, click the link below.